Her second question was, now, if we have a wedding and there's no music, no, there's no free mixing, and we decide to bring a sheikh to speak about the merits of marriage, the rights and obligation upon the wife and the husband, is this an innovation or is it okay to do? It's an issue of, uh, of dispute among scholars because some say that this is an uh, innovation and it was not the uh, norm. Others say, no, this is permissible. It's not a form of worship. This is a marriage. So we can dance. We can, uh, um, uh, you know, it, the dancing and the chanting that is permissible for uh, women. Uh, the men could play. They could uh, just sit, sit, sit and talk and um, socialize. All of this is permissible. And if they bring someone to address the audience, this is also permissible and there is nothing wrong in that, inshallah. At the time of the Prophet ﷺ, there wasn't anything specific. For women, the Prophet told Aisha, instructed Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, clearly that go and accompany some of chanting, singing, duf, which is uh, um, like the trampoline, like uh, a musical instrument. This is permissible in Islam. Uh, to do in weddings. So the Prophet uh, directed Aisha to do such a thing, and this is for women. For men, we don't have anything specific. So they can sit, they can socialize, they can uh, um, have uh, 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 humorous uh, talks and enjoy their life, time and life, because this is a time of uh, celebration.